Hey, how's it going? Just going to show you how to play Plastic Thrills by Deerhoof today off the album The Magic. Um, just before we jump into it, I'll let you know you can support me on Patreon. There's a link to that below and a video link explaining what that all is. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I've got a Spotify playlist which has got all the songs I've made tutorials for on it. So you can listen through it and see if you want to learn anything. Also, if you could like and subscribe, that would be brilliant. Anyway, now that's out of the way, let's jump into the lesson. So for this track, we've got um, pretty much one guitar part. There's a small lead line throughout the verse, but the rest is just one guitar. In standard tuning and using a pick, we've just got an intro, verse, the verse has got the lead line, chorus, and a solo at the end. So I'll go through section by section, give you an example of what we're going to learn, and then I'll teach it to you. Alright, so I'll start with the intro section, and this is pretty much the same as the chorus. Um, the chorus has just got a little um, other lead line in it. Um, but the bit that you hear at the top of the song is this. <laughs> So we've just got like this bar, major chord shape that we're sort of flattening out with our third finger and then moving into different positions. So starting out with this B flat major, which is sixth fret on the sixth string, eighth fret on the fifth and fourth string, and seventh fret on the third string. So we go, and then we sort of flatten our third finger out over the fourth, third, and second strings in the eighth fret. So you get this sort of blue, classic blues rock sound. That sort of. That sort of vibe. Um, so yeah, you do that. Do that, then you move up two frets, just for one, one strum. So you get eight, 10, 10, and nine. Then over one more fret, so you get 9, 10, 10, sorry, 9, 11, 11, 10. So you get. So we do the same thing that we did down the neck a bit. So you're doing that, flattening the third finger over the uh, fourth, second, third, and second strings on the 11th fret. And to finish off, you're just moving over two frets again, so you've got. 11 on the 6th string, 13 uh, on the 5th and 4th strings, and 12 on the 3rd string. And you put that all together. Alright, so that's the intro section. Um, so then we've got the verse, and I'll do the sort of rhythm rhythm part first and then the short lead line. So the rhythm part goes like this. So we've pretty much just got power chords through this section. So starting with this. So we're just sliding in from this E flat to an E power chord. So uh, sixth fret on the fifth string and eighth fret on the fourth string. I'm just gonna slide that over to seven and nine. Yes, you go. Slide over. And two down, down strums. You do one and then three. So you get. Then we've got the. Which is just a G power chord. So it's a third fret on the sixth string and fifth fret on the fifth string. We go. That's just opening up that low string. So you go three, open, three. While keeping that pinky down for the power chord. And move up two frets. 
So you've got an A, so that's uh, fifth fret on the sixth string and seventh on the fifth string. Move over another two frets, so you've got seven and nine on the sixth and fifth strings. Yeah. And you repeat. So that's the uh, rhythm guitar for the verse. And then you've just got a lead line that sort of doubles the vocal. Da -da 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 that line. So it's just. So just on the first string, you do three, uh, sorry, two on the third fret, open back to three, slide up to seven, back to five, and then seven on the second string. So you get. And that's that lead line. Um, so then we've got the chorus. And yeah, like I said earlier, it's pretty much the intro. We've just got one little sort of bluesy lick uh, in between. And so the chorus goes like this. So we're just repeating this section. So it starts out with... So on the top two strings, in the ninth fret, do them twice. Then we go 11, 9 on the third string. And then 11 on the fourth string. So you get... Then we do the exact same thing, just moved up two frets. So we've got the top two strings on the 11th fret this time. Then we go 13, 11 on the third string. And then finish on 13 on the fourth fret. Sorry, fourth string. So you put these back to back. And then you just play what we learn in the intro. So that. But then you go, instead of going back to the. You go back to the. And that's, yeah, the chorus. So then the only other part to learn is the solo. And it's right at the very end of the song. It only goes, uh, it's very short, only three times around the... Around that bit. So I've just got a little backing track just to give you an example of what it sounds like. A bit of, bit of reference. Uh, so here it goes. So short and sweet. Um, so yeah, we start off with this this lick, which is uh, 16th fret on the first string. Pluck that once, and then 16 on the second fret. But we bend this straight up while holding that note on the first string. So you go. So yeah, you're sort of plucking top string, second string, top string, second string. Do that. Then, so you bend that bent note down. So you do a couple of plucks on the on the down bend. Pull off to fourteen. Then we go fifteen on the third string. Back to fourteen on the second. So so far you've got. So let that hang and just a bit of vibrato. Then we just bend 16th fret on the first string up, up a step. And so while, while you've got it bent up, you give it a few more picks. And then do a bend back down to the sort of natural pitch of the 14th, uh, 16th fret. And then right at the very end, you just give a 
a bend up 16th fret on the second string. Um, so I'll just play it again with the backing, just so now that you've uh, understood it. And that's all the parts to this song. Um, thanks so much for watching and listening. Hope you enjoyed that one. Always love learning deer hoof songs. Um, and that's a really short, fun one to, to rock along with. Um, yeah, like I said at the top of the video, you can support me at Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can all follow me at. And you can check out that Spotify playlist. All those things are linked below. And thanks again uh, for liking and subscribing, everyone that has. Um, the page is growing really well, so I appreciate everyone who's jumped on board. It really means a lot. Um, but that's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.